hi there welcome back so in the last movie we have created and designed this amazing standard 10 size envelope based on US Postal Service and this is really really great I hope you enjoyed it a lot well now in this movie I'm about to show you the biggest envelope size in which you can post your uh, letters so just remember you should not design any envelope size bigger than this one I'm going to show you in this movie until you have any specific reason to do that right so let me go to file here and let me go to new here and here obviously I'm going to just uh, give it a name of biggest envelope size design 15 inch and 12 inch well there's a more envelope you know uh, like their size like you know 9.5 inch wider and 12 inch taller and in this case actually I'm making it 15 inch wider and 12 inch taller and this is the biggest envelope size design in which you can place your letter and send to your client this is gonna be biggest one so I just want to remind you once again that please remember then do not design any envelope size bigger than this one until you have a specific reason to do that okay great so here you can see actually I need number of artboard too obviously uh, front and back end and this video is gonna be very uh, quick because we already have done a lot of work here so we can simply just go ahead and copy it and paste it over there and I just wanted to show you because you know obviously practice make permanent and you can see me by doing this so this is really gonna be awesome so obviously uh, I need this width uh, 15 inch and height is 12 inch perfect I need bleed here 0 0.125 inch great uh, but uh, now here you can see actually uh, this is actually you know uh, in column here and uh, let's keep it column that's really awesome <laughs> cool so now let's go ahead hit ok and there we go this is actually our envelope artboard great so now let me just go ahead and click this one first artboard control 0 to bring it front here and let me just quickly create uh, my safe zone area and my guide so what I can do basically I can just go ahead and grab this rectangle here and create here this uh, rectangle here and transform and you know that uh, the width of this artboard is actually 15 inch wider and 12 inch taller so I'm going to make it a uh, 15 uh, inch so this is actually going to be 14.75 inch I'm an eighth of an inch here and uh, now this is actually you know that uh, this is actually 12 inch taller so this is gonna be 11.75 inch taller right hit okay there we go and I can just go ahead hit this one center it you know center it. great so now uh, let's go you can see there's a two stroke here great and now you can see here there's actually our safe zone area I can just go ahead control C to copy it get back to here control C B to paste it in front and control 5 to turn into guide this one control 5 to turn into guide here there we go perfect let me just go ahead and create my uh, grid so for that actually I need here 9 so bleed to bleed 1 let me just make it a small here so there we go 1 2 three nine perfect there we go so I have it I can just go ahead and select all of it and I'm just going to distribute uh, horizontally in center here there you go I can just go ahead get this first one and the last one there we go just go ahead copy this one and I'm going to just paste it here control shift V and control 5 to just uh, make our guide control 5 to make our guide there we go so our guide is ready here that's great cool so now here you can see actually our uh, guide is particularly ready now let's go ahead and design our big envelope well we actually have all thing in place here you can see here <laughs> so I can just go ahead simply and grab it from here and just you know place it here so obviously uh, I need here that uh, two inch uh, from each side to place my this uh, this particular uh, stamp here so I can just go ahead copy from there I can paste it here and this is gonna be your two inch so this is gonna be here so I'm going to just make it a little bit big so you can see it very clearly here and um, there we go I'm going to place it here great and now what I'm going to basically here I'm just going to grab this my lines here control C to copy it I'm going to paste it here right and this is just an extra kind of lesson to just you know practice all those stuff what you have learned in the last movie <laughs> so just in you know now in different uh, size here so that's great you can just make it a little bit big here so it's really up to you and let me just go ahead and what I can do basically let me just control space bar and bring this uh, guy front here so there we go well, let me just bring it here let me just make this little even, even more awesome there we go and there we go so yeah I'm gonna just bring it here and I'm going to quickly just uh, bring it some around here there we go this is perfect if you want to make it even bigger you can just go ahead and make this bigger here or you can see I'm holding my alt and shift key actually now this is my nature 
<laughs> so let me just go ahead control Z and I'm going to just you know, expand it from here so I just go ahead and hold my shift key and there we go it's increasing great so great let me just make this you know this much bigger so perfect there we go cool so that's fine here now what I can do basically I can just get back to here and now again the same thing is apply here you know you can just go ahead copy this one and I'm going to just uh, paste it here you know there, there's actually you know uh, we have this uh, like you know that uh, width so where I can replace our recipient address here so I can just go ahead and make this a little bit big here to expand it there you go uh, this is gonna be very quick so <coughs> there we go I can just bring it a little bit below here great so now here what I'm going to do basically I'm going to just grab this uh, here and create this rectangle here so for that what I'm going to do basically I'm going to just make it even little bit bigger here because this is actually the biggest envelope design so let me just bring it here let me just go ahead and first of all you know give it a color so I'm just going to give a color this one there you go and let me just hide my guide and first of all let me just bring this here and hide my guide control semicolon and see how it looks so you can see this is actually pretty big here isn't it yeah that's big but now I think this looks fine for me yeah that's great it's look really nice to me great so now let me just bring my semicolon back here control plus 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 so here we go let me just go ahead and grab here right here premium edition here and I will just go ahead and make this a little bit big here obviously I'm going to just bring it here here we go and I'm going to just make this white perfect now what I can do basically I just go ahead and increase tracking to be something like uh, I think 800 will be fine because if I just go beyond 800 it's gonna be a lot of tracking uh, I don't want that much tracking but this is fine for me I guess cool so now you can see now this is in center here now let me just bring it down here cool yeah let me just bring a little bit more down here there we go in safe zone area that's perfect control semicolon to hide my guide and you can see this look fine for me cool so now I can just go ahead and bring my this uh, guide back by hitting my control and semicolon and now what I can do basically here uh, I need to place here my uh, barcode so I can just go ahead and grab this barcode from here control C and control V to bring it here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here this time because now this is actually the bigger you know the envelope size here so I can just go ahead and make this bigger and there we go this place is fine for me great perfect I can just go ahead grab my this address here mm, there we go control C and I'm going to just paste it here mm -hmm. there we go and I need it from here you can see because of you can see there's actually my logo here so I need it from here but I'm going to make it even more bigger so you can see I told you that's my nature <laughs> by holding my alt and shift key let me just go ahead control Z and let me just hold on only my shift key so it's going to expand you know in right side there you go and now I just go ahead and make it a little bit up here and here I'm going to just uh, make this one size bigger so there we go I think this is fine for me let's see how it looks yeah that's look fine for me cool so I can just go ahead and even I'm going to bring it down let me just go ahead and first of all I'll make this a little small here and I'm going to bring it down in this uh, like you know center of this one cool so now let me just go ahead control minus minus and control semicolon to hide my guides and here you can see this is actually our bigger side of envelope this is cool so this is the biggest one remember this one right so again we have all this in place and even we actually have this particular logo uh, this is our recipient address this is actually our uh, barcode this is actually our address this is premium edition that uh, rectangle here that's cool now what I need to do here is I need to create this uh, you know flip here so what I'm going to do is clear in the last movie uh, here in this particular standard in size it was like only one inch now in this one it's gonna be two inch or even make it uh, three inch I mean bigger right so let me just go ahead and create this one here so this is gonna be like uh, let me go to here uh, sh transform here and the width of is is gonna be like you know the width of this particular envelope is 15 inch so in this case I'm just going to make it like a, a 2.5 inch uh, width 2.5 inch fine for me and now uh, once again I go to transform here and now you know that this is actually 12 inch taller here so I'm just going to uh, make it obviously 12 inch taller here that's really nice here and I'm going to grab it here there we go 
perfect well now let's go ahead and you know uh, that uh, bring this distortion here so there we go I can just go ahead easily click this one and now I can simply just go ahead and make this much bigger see how it looks so I can just go ahead click outside see how it looks so there we go this looks uh, fine cool and even if you want to design triangle you can do that uh, so let me show you if I just go ahead and let me just bring it here and if you want to just create a triangle here you can easily uh, do that that's really uh, gonna be so easy so let me show you how to do that so we can just go ahead grab this pen tool here and you can just click this one here and in this case what you can do basically let me just bring that uh, you know grid of this uh, illustrator so I hit control and then uh, double inverted comma you can say here see now it's actually about that guide here what you can do basically I can click here and now I need to click somewhere which is actually common here so you can just go ahead click here and you can click uh, here there you go and now I can just go ahead once again click uh, here so it's actually perfect rectangle here and now this could be your you know rectangle version of your uh, this envelope here let me first hide this grid here so control double inverted comma or simply you know uh, just face uh, which is actually just uh, you know left of your semicolon so that's it so you can see here this is actually gonna be you know uh, your uh, that uh, triangle version of that uh, you know opening cover so you can do this one or you can do simply this one it's really uh, up to you what you're actually going to do it's really up to you right so that is really great so yeah uh, so let me just go ahead and get this one I need this one so I'm going to place it here and uh, let me just bring it some around here there we go perfect uh, actually I need a little bit down here so this is actually our uh, front side design it's actually ready here great and uh, actually I need that particular you know logo uh, which I placed it here you see because of this is actually outside of this one so I need that so I can just go ahead let me just click this one copy and I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to let it, me just make it a little bit big here and now what I can do basically I can just go ahead and I just paste it here there we go but let me just go ahead and again distort it too so it's gonna you know look like same yeah, so little bit not much little bit right uh, I think that's gonna be great so let's see how it look yeah now you can see this is actually you know a little bit distorted here so it's look really uh, nice here that's great cool and if you want some kind of you know uh, like uh, awesome outer glow inner glow you can just go ahead hit effect here stylize and you can add here some kind of outer glow here so that's look, gonna look really nice here so I can just do that do you see uh, this is actually complete black here let me just make this a uh, little bit white here and uh, let's bring this opacity down 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 a little bit so you can see here this is actually too big here let me just actually make this uh, even uh, you know uh, more uh, lesser 20 uh, percent see how look uh, now it's great hit this one and now you can see that outer glue here and it's actually kind of showing you that uh, you know that uh, illusion of that this is actually you know opening that's great so this is the front side of your particular envelope now let's go ahead and design the back side one and now you know that back side is gonna be the uh, same <laughs> so yeah you can just go ahead and uh, design it let me just go to here quickly and let's do this right so what I'm going to do basically here uh, I'm just going to uh, obviously I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to just paste it here right and uh, I'm just going to increase this size so there you go and I'm going to place it some around here and I'm going very quick so forgive me uh, because you know actually I have did it a lot of time and even in the last movie so now you know that you know if I just go slow here it's actually going to be even lengthier video so that's why I'm just going very quickly here and now I know that you're actually getting right what I'm doing here so yeah that's it so here we go this is actually applied here I need uh, obviously this rectangle here so copy and I'm going to click here control V to paste in front here there we go if I hit control semicolon to hide my guide you can see there we go perfect great and now what I'm thinking that uh, actually we have that particular you know our tagline that uh, learn understand practice and get hired so we actually have enough room to place it here what do you think well we can place it here that's really gonna be look really nice let's do that let me just go ahead and place here learn understand practice and uh, get hired 
yeah let me just go ahead and see how it looks so you can see actually we have there's a lot of tracking here I don't want that much tracking here so I can just get back to character here let's think it's tracking to be 50 here and now let me just go ahead instead of merit pro I'm going to make it this uh, Arial here so Arial regular and let me just increase this uh, size to be like this much big and now you can see here that's cool but uh, okay fine what I can do basically let me just go ahead and uh, instead of this Arial here let me just make this Sejo script and Sejo script here there we go perfect there we go learn understand practice and get hired cool so this is really look nice cool so what I can do basically here uh, I can just go ahead and what I'm gonna do basically here, let me just go ahead and make this color here and now you can see how it looks yeah fine cool let me just hide my guide first of all and we actually sent it later but now let me just hit control zero so it's going to bring it here and I don't want my this signature here uh, let me just bring it here cool yeah this look fine here and I need to just bring it a little bit down here yeah let me just make this small here so this is too big here so this is gonna be like little small here and perfect and let me just bring it a little bit up here and let me just also make it a little bit small here so because now this is not that much important the important it this guy is cool right great so now I think this look fine for me great so now let me just bring my uh, guide back and now let's center it so this is not in center so I'm going to make it in center here see this is not in center this is also now in center here we go perfect and now this is you can see this is actually in center so perfect this is actually fine here this is now great and there we go this is perfect so now control minus minus to just uh, you know zoom out here and that is cool so now this is uh, looks really nicer yeah? let me just go ahead and control zero and now what I'm going to do basically here I'm just going to get back to here so now let's go ahead and create this folding part here so for that what I'm going to do basically uh, I'm just going to grab this rectangle here and create a simple here right uh, there you go and uh, go to transform here and I'm going to make it like a uh, two inch and now uh, I'm just going to make this obviously a uh, 12 inch taller here great and now actually you can see here actually I have also just changed it to be 2 inch because uh, 2.5 inch is a little bit wider right 2 inch is great so 2 inch so now there we go so now what I'm going to do basically I'm just go ahead and going to bring it here and let me just place it a little bit up here there you go perfect and here's the one thing that what I want here uh, let me just go ahead and create that triangle here so it's actually going to look that you know this is the part of that uh, inula so I'm going to create that triangle here so it's going to show that this is actually the back side of that envelope so yeah that is really gonna be awesome but if I do that here's gonna be a problem let me show you this is not gonna be in center here so what I can do basically here let me just go ahead and make it small here for now actually not that much small <laughs> just you know small and place it uh, some around here and I'm going to just you know uh, again design it uh, later and place it uh, here so let's go ahead first design this one and then we actually do that so what I'm going to do basically here I'm just going to create uh, another one here hold my alt key and I'm going to create a copy of it one so I just go ahead hold my alt key uh, so it's going to create copy and then shift key to which you're going to you now place it in very uh, straightforward direction you can see I stick to this one there you go perfect and now what I'm going to do basically here uh, I'm just going to just transform it to make it triangle here and this is really easy via this transform function here see this perspective is short here and here I just go ahead click this one and I'm going to just you know uh, make it like this until it's actually become triangle here so see triangle there we go triangle right perfect so now this become triangle here and that's really nice now what I can do basically I can just get back to here and I can just apply it here this uh, white but I think I don't need white here I just go ahead and apply this one so this is little bit you know uh, like this color but again uh, the color of this is not uh, important here because now this is gonna be like you know uh, part of illusion you just going to show the illusion because this now show is actually inside part of that uh, envelope right so remember this one this is <laughs> really important great so now let me just go ahead and let me just make little bit you know around a corner here so I can go to trans I can go I can go to shape here and let me just 0 0.12 0 0.12 that's gonna find see yeah perfect great now it's look like that we are actually opening that uh, envelope here oh <laughs> uh, great so now let me just go ahead and align it so bring my control semicolon this uh, guide back and I'm going to just just bring it up here some around here let me just actually bring it here up 
or you can simply just go ahead and uh, you know uh, what you can do basically you can just bring this uh, up here and then bring this down but it's really fine uh, just you know make up your mind and then do that it's really up to you uh, but actually I'm going to f follow this one what I actually did here right great so now let me just go ahead and hit control or uh, semicolon to hide my guide and you can see this is actually our back part of you know our envelope so let me just hit control minus minus to go back here and you can see here that's great so now this is actually front side of that big envelope this is the back side of this big envelope I think this is really great cool so yeah uh, that is really uh, fine here but again just remember that uh, you know if you're getting the bigger envelope then just don't go uh, beyond this size because there's a lot of commercial printer or digital press printer who actually you know support maximum of this size envelope so I just showed you here in this particular movie so this is the maximum size but uh, of course if you have a specific need then you can do whatever you want it's still up to you but this is what I actually recommend here so now you can see how to design this particular uh, big size of envelope awesome so now I hope you liked it and obviously you learned something from here. So thank you so much and see you in the next movie.